Yeah, so from my own group, we are presenting a late breaker on in how the African-American phenotype uh, uh, differs from uh, the African phenotype from Africa and the European uh, phenotype. So I think that's very important uh, because I think we need to ask the question, can we apply the same treatments across continents? And um, I think it's important. So I'm looking forward to that. And there are also very um, uh, many uh, new treatments that are being presented, phase three, phase two. Uh, again, it's super exciting times. Um, and um, I think just keeping up with the new treatments and uh, I think also uh, I'm excited about some personalized medicine approaches that um, are applied now um, uh, to these diseases, uh, including before and after treatment, understanding responders versus non-responders. Uh, that's also exciting. You know, we now in uh, not we, we need to not only think about treating the disease well, because we, we have agents that now treat the disease well. I think it's time for us to think as a specialty and for our patients about disease modification. And what Rocatilimab um, um, showed a hint of and got us all excited is it did show that hint, not only in terms of the maintenance of clinical responses, as you've seen in the paper, but now it's supported also by biomarkers. So the IgE is actually a good example. Not only it continues to go down, it's going down even more in the time that patients are off drug. So that really supports that ma maintenance of clinical responses. And that tells us that maybe in the future, patients may need to be treated less often, maybe every eight, four, eight weeks. And who knows, maybe at some point we can stop the treatment and not renew it. And, you know, that's the dream, right? Patients keep asking us, doctor, can I stop the treatment at some point? Or is this for life, right? This is the million dollar question. And at some point I want to tell them, listen, yes, you'll be treated on a drug one year, two years, and then that's it. But we are not yet there. So there is an OX40 antagonist, and there also is, but we didn't hear the results of the study. There is also an OX40 ligand a antagonist a, that now is taken forward by Sanofi. The first a, a study was done by Kaimab. It was a small study, not like the OX40 from Kiowa Amgen. That was much smaller. So we definitely need validation in a bigger study that is being done now. But it's also part of the same pathway, so we are also very excited about that. <music>